It was mid-July 2021 and I was out on a six-day canoe trip in Magnetowan River Provincial Park with my son Noah and my friends Derek and Jeff. In part one of this canoe trip series, we paddled into the park from Harris Lake Marina to the park boundary. From there, we traveled east on South Magnetowan and then north on Timberwolf Lake, carried our gear overland on the 346 meter portage, and then continued to canoe up to the Magnetowan River at the west end of Trout Lake, where we camped the night. The following day, we stayed at the same campsite and spent the day exploring and enjoying the fishing that the area is known for. The Magnetowan River is an incredible area and we were just beginning our trip. Our plan for the day was to continue to canoe from our campsite on the Magnetowan River to Island Lake. It would only be a few hours of paddling, so we'd also try our luck with a bit of fishing as we went along. This is the morning of day three, Wednesday of our Magnetowan trip, and we've just packed up camp and we're getting ready to head out. As we were leaving our campsite, I wanted to see if the water snakes that we saw the day before were still hanging around. I was able to get in a few quick shots, and then we were on our way. We only paddled for 10 or 15 minutes and then decided to try a bit of fishing along the rocky shoreline. Midday is never the best time to go fishing, but we were able to catch a couple rocks and at least one branch relatively quickly. But soon enough, I had a bite and reeled this guy in. Look at the big eye and expression on his face wondering what the hell just happened. You'll be all right, little buddy. Go swim it off. The fishing really wasn't that great, so we paddled on towards the first portage. We're at the first portage of the day and we're just scouting it out. Uh, the first little rapid uh, just here behind me is definitely easy runnable. Then there's another one further up and I haven't scouted it but uh, Derek went ahead. He said that uh, we should pull out before that and I saw a little spot where we can pull out to do that. So yeah, so we're going to get back in the boats. We're going to come down through here and then pull it to the side and portage the last little bit. We decided to take turns so we could get a few camera shots in for everyone watching the video. Derek and Jeff went first. Then Noah and I had our turn. Now that's a nice looking canoe those guys are in. It was around lunchtime, so after pulling our boats ashore, we hiked over to take a look at the main rapid and waterfall, where we'd stop and have a quick bite to eat. With my experience running white water, definitely a good decision not to run this.
With our rest over, it was time to continue the short portage. So we just finished the portage from uh, Magnetowan River to Magnetowan River. Come up to the initial rapids, like a class one. We decided to have a little fun there. Run them down to the takeout point, up a steep incline to the trail, and then walked a bit. Another really steep incline where we stopped and had a little lunch. Magnificent waterfall there, maybe class three, four. And then, uh, Finished the portage. Actually, one little steep short incline and then really nice pine ground covered trail right down to this beautiful setting here. The water is just magnificent and I've only seen one other canoe today. It's been great. We enjoyed our quick swim at the end of the portage in what was truly a great place for a swim. And then we were back in our canoes to continue our way to Island Lake. And it wasn't long before we reached the next set of rapids marked on the map as an optional portage. All right, yeah. Noah and I paddled through the first portion and then pulled to shore yeah, to have so a look on. at the next set. Okay, so again, big concern for me is carrying camera gear and if I tip, it's sinking. But I'm gonna have Noah have a look as well. Right now, I think we could run it. Uh, the thing is right here, close to this shore, we've got a set of rocks. On the other side, it looks like that's where we wanna come down and then hope for the best. <laughs> Jeff and Derek were the first through, oh, and yeah, then it was our turn. There's always the risk of tipping, but generally speaking, I'm all up for running rapids this size, with little to no concern for my canoe or the gear inside. They're just a lot of fun. Whee! Whoa! <laughs> We paddled into Island Lake and started to look for a nice place to set up camp. Another short set of rapids. Oh! <laughs> I got a soaker, I don't know about you. The first couple campsites we checked out didn't meet our high standards, but it wasn't long until we found a spot that was pretty close to perfect.
All right, so we just pulled into a campsite and we're just gonna unload, get everything set up, do everything that we normally do, gather a firewood and get some food going. It's still really hard to imagine that we actually had this entire lake to ourselves. Pure serenity. After setting up camp and getting organized, we were feeling like we had put in a good day and it was time for dinner. Derek brought in potatoes and chicken that were perfect to fill the hunger gap. A great way to end the day. It's not good for a great deal else these days, once in a while. <laughs> conditions have to be winning conditions. I am rotten. I can't use the <laughs> Yeah, this is really good. Great potatoes, great chicken. morning of day four and it's raining. The rain's either, well it's slowing down, but it's either stopping or you're right. Yeah, it's slowed down. Well, we've been sitting around camp this morning. It's been a pretty heavy rain on and off, but it's, uh, well, as you can probably see, it's still very overcast, cloudy. We just had a pretty heavy shower, but we're getting geared up. We're going to head out on the water, try to do a bit of fishing. We're not sure if we're going to get rained on again, but we're going to be hopeful and even more hopeful that we'll catch something. It wasn't the best day weather-wise, but we all had at least some rain gear to help us manage the wet conditions. And the rain had let up enough that at least it wasn't a heavy downpour, allowing us out on the water. We were mainly targeting small and largemouth bass fishing along the shoreline, around weedy little areas, and shoals around the lake. I tried to focus on controlling the boat while letting Noah focus on fishing. It was a lot of fun working as a team. Jump, just let him. For the most part, I'd let him use his own judgment, but once in a while I'd suggest a spot for him to try to cast into. Have any line 
It didn't take too long for him to get his first fish. Just lift him right up in front of you. A little envious now, I decided I'd try and do a bit of fishing on my own. And on the first cast, I had one hooked. Same fish. Hmm? Same fish. How do you know it's the same fish? I don't. There's another lake on the other side here, and I'm just uh, bush bashing basically, and to see how to pull a canoe through. Um, this other lake looks like it would be used a lot less. With any luck, the fishing would be even better. There's no question that Derek is the best fisherman of the group, so I wanted Noah to benefit from being in the same boat with him for a while to gain a bit more experience. So Jeff jumped in with me, and Noah went in Derek's swift canoe for a while. We paddled around this little lake. I focused on controlling the boat while Jeff focused on fishing. We circumnavigated the lake and between the four of us didn't get a single bite. So we went back to the main island lake to fish a while longer. Okay, so we spent a bit of time paddling around the little lake and it's a dud, no fish. None of us, four people had a bite. So we're gonna just head back to the main lake and what are we going to do? Are we going to fish some more or are we going to head back and have something to eat now? I'm kind of hungry. I could eat. Yes, we'll fish our way back to the site. Yeah, fish our way back to the site. Quick. And that's when this happened. It is not a bass. Pickle? It doesn't look like a bass, does it? Do you want him? Whoo! <laughs> is it or is it a catfish? I don't know what it is. No, oh, it's a catfish. Oh, you got a oh catfish. God, it's a catfish. Uh. Monster. And within five minutes, he had another one hooked. I said, yeah, I'll kill myself if it's another cat. <laughs> oh. Look at that fucking thing. <laughs> we went back to camp long enough to have a quick snack and do a bit of fishing from shore. I didn't think anyone would catch anything from shore, but decided to give it a shot. Oh yeah, he jumped out on his own. It was clearly a good day to be fishing, so we went back out in our canoes in the evening. Oh yeah! <laughs> wow. What is it? Thank <laughs> you. 
We were having a great time, and in the distance we could see that Derek and Jeff were nice. also having some success, so we paddled over to have a look. That's my best bass yet. It's a nice fish, not small bass. <laughs> small boat bass. It's quite a very good. It's no catfish. <laughs> it's no catfish. <laughs> what a good day. We spent the rest of the evening cooking dinner over the fire and other general silliness that you get up to on these types of trips, relaxing on what had turned into a very quiet and peaceful lake. Our canoe trip was a loop through Magnetowan River Provincial Park, traveling along the Magnetowan River. Still ahead of us was two days of paddling that included the $30 rapids. But that was coming tomorrow.